What's up, guys, and welcome back to Short Story Sunday here at Sci-Fi Bookery. I'm Josh, and today we're talking about a story out of here, Christmas Bestiary. I promised you guys I would read some out of here and review them, and I did, and we're back with Short Story Sunday with A Compromised Christmas by Jennifer Robertson. Now, A Compromised Christmas is the first story in here, and it just happens to be about my favorite mythical creature. All these stories are about mythical creatures. You can see the cover, all those. And my favorite is the Loch Ness Monster. So I really connect with that all always. Ever since I was a kid, I was like obsessed with the Loch Ness Monster. And that kind of like got me into cryptozoology and, and that sort of things. Loch Ness Monster, Bigfoot, all that kind of stuff. I, I find really, really interesting that there's possibly something out there that we don't know about and that no one can find. And it's just sort of lurking around. So Christmas bestiary, I'm like, dude, I love Christmas. I love mythical creatures. Boom, this one's for me. So reading the first one out of here, I don't recognize any of these authors. And I noticed uh, reading through the, like the, the copyright page, they're all from 1992. So I have a feeling that maybe they just put the word out and people wrote stories specifically for this book. I don't know. But the first one, A Compromised Christmas by Jennifer Robertson was uh, was really cute. I liked it. It's, it's about Joe and Jane and they are newlyweds and they decided to take their honeymoon in Scotland at Christmas time. Which you think about it and you're like, what, what's cozier than Scotland at Christmas time? Wrong. It's super cold and rainy and miserable. And Joe finds that out immediately because Jane decides that they don't need to take the bus, the tour bus. They need to walk to this castle, which is on Loch Ness, of course. And on the way there, Joe's complaining. He's trying to get out of it. He's trying to get her to turn around, try to go back. And she keeps pushing forward. They finally get to the castle. And as you can imagine, a Nessie spotting. And I'll leave it at that because it's really such a beautifully written, very extremely short story. Um, I, I honestly read it in like 10, 10 minutes, maybe 15 minutes. It's very short and it's super cute. I liked it a lot. And it kind of gives you that warm, fuzzy Christmas feeling. And it also has a lot of those aspects of a good Loch Ness Monster encounter story, which was cool to also see. So that is the first story out of here. This month I'm doing all the short story Sundays are going to be out of this book, Christmas Bestiary. I might do a couple a week just because they are very short stories. They're like 10, 15 pages so I might do a couple a week, but this is the first one and we'll do some more out of this. So Merry Christmas. This is what you're getting for the next few weeks. We'll see you next week, folks.